Welcome. In front is a Samsung Galaxy S21 and today I'll show you how to check your warranty status on this device. Now this will work the same way for every kind of Samsung uh, Galaxy device uh, that is well, running with the Nox security. Now what is what this kind of means uh, with the Nox security is uh, it, basically the device keeps checking uh, whenever it boots up um, if anything was changed on it in terms of security. Um, and if it has then some certain applications, Samsung specific ones, so as you know, you have the secure folder and uh, Galaxy or Yeah, I think it's Galaxy Store and several other ones like that So if the device uh, Specifically Nox security detects that the device was tempered with it will basically remove certain features and well, based on like uh, security measures so uh, No one can get access to them, uh, but we'll also do uh, one more thing which is avoid your warranty and uh, normally if you're an owner of the device uh, straight like from the beginning if you for instance uh, root your device uh, as an example uh, you will most likely well know that uh, by rooting the device uh, you're also avoiding your warranty but if you are a, a buyer of said device uh, then you won't really know if the device was rooted or not uh, thus you also won't know if uh, the device still has a warranty or not I mean on paper, yeah, the device could still have warranty, but if it was rooted, that warranty is voided. Uh, so even if it's supposed to run for another year or so, uh, yeah, that, that's gone. So if you're the said buyer, uh, what you can do before you actually purchase a second-hand device is simply check it uh, by plugging it into a computer and turning it on in download mode. Now for this purpose, you will need obviously a computer and also a cable. And all you need to do is plug in that cable. There we go. And from there, let's power it off. So select the power key right here, power off, and wait for the device to power down. And when that has happened, what you want to do is hold it volume down and volume up, both of the keys at the same time. There we go. And this will take you to the uh, warning screen. Uh, just disregard it, press a volume up to continue. And there we go. We are right now in the download mode where we get uh, some information and most importantly we get the warranty void information now it's stated here the void warranty by zero or one and more of a binary status here a zero basically means that you still have a warranty uh, one will mean that the warranty is just gone now um, and this is completely uh, like standalone uh, this this basically doesn't operate on a timed warranty so uh, as an example, if you still have zero, uh, but but you already had the device for like two years or so, uh, however long the warranty is, uh, the warranty will be gone, but uh, the void here will still be at zero. This is only uh, gonna say that uh, basically if you did something to the device that made the warranty not be eligible. Um, so yeah. So you can quickly check it from here. Uh, if warranty void says one, then uh, if someone try is trying to tell you that uh, you still have the manufacturer's uh, warranty, no, you don't. Uh, if this is zero, your warranty is just completely gone. And that is how you basically check it. Now, to leave this mode, once you have checked it, uh, all you need to do is hold volume down and power key, which is faintly visible here. Let me just maybe turn off the lights uh, so it's a little bit better visible. There we go. You can see it a little bit better now. So there we go. Now uh, volume down and side key for more than seven seconds to power it off. And this will basically restart the device. So let me turn on back the lights and again, drop the... There we go. And what you want to do is like, like we've seen, power key, volume down, hold both of the keys at the same time. And you're going to hold them for more than seven seconds or basically till the screen turns off like so. At which point you can let go. Uh, you can also unplug it and simply wait for the device to boot back up into Android. And there we go. So if you found this video helpful, don't forget to hit like, subscribe and thanks for watching.